Hey, KS Services is now running their $59 fall tune-up special. Our team arrives on time and is always professional. Be sure your unit is ready for the cooler temperatures by visiting our website, callks.com today, and schedule your appointment. It's fast and easy. The weather's getting cooler and the days are getting shorter. Don't let the fall weather sneak up on you. Call us today. 205-322-9090, AL certification number 1112. This is your Weather Extreme video for Sunday, December the 24th. Merry Christmas Eve from all of us at AlabamaWX.com. Start off with a graphic from WPC. This is the uh, likelihood of uh, seeing a white Christmas uh, across the United States. And unfortunately, the southeastern U.S. has got just about no chance. Satellite image this morning shows we have a good deal of clouds. We can see uh, a good deal of uh, the kind of the grayer clouds that are low clouds, plus those brighter clouds that are some higher clouds over southern Georgia and over parts of middle Tennessee and uh, northern Alabama and parts of Mississippi. The uh, surface map features large high pressure coming across the Great Lakes. And, of course, that uh, rain system that brought us the rain yesterday is moving off the southeast coast. And uh, we've got a little development there in Texas, but uh, that expected to move up across the Ohio River Valley. And as it does, it's going to be giving uh, some uh, problems for them. We'll get to that in a second. The 500 millibar chart overlaid on the uh, water vapor imagery this morning shows a broad trough over, gosh, just about two-thirds of the United States. So very big trough. That responsible for a lot of cold air. Uh, all the blues that you see are basically below 30 degrees, and uh, we see a lot of uh, single digits, some minus single digits, and some minus negative, really negative digits, double digits. So I see a minus 31 up there in uh, uh, northern uh, Wyoming and uh, northwestern uh, Wyoming, and some uh, minus 20s there in uh, the northern uh, Minnesota uh, and uh Wisconsin area, so very, very cold air. Across the southeastern U.S., uh, we did not uh, change much from midnight last night to this morning with most of the readings in the 40s, lower to mid-40s for the most part. I mentioned the storm system causing a bit of problems. Uh, the purples you see are winter weather advisories stretching all the way from extreme southeastern Nebraska all the way to New England, and then up in New England and parts of uh, northern and uh, eastern New York, we see those pinks that are uh, winter weather uh, warnings, and of course we have some in the northern Rockies as well. A little bit of uh, flash flood watches over uh, the Florida Peninsula. QPF-wise, uh, QPF is pretty low for the next five days. Most of this coming uh, maybe as early as Wednesday. Uh, we don't have a really high confidence in the forecast at this moment, but we're uh, expecting a uh, overrunning situation to develop, and that should give us uh, on the order of uh, an inch or so down along the Gulf Coast and over our area, maybe on the order of a quarter to a half inch. And I can sum up the SPC outlooks for all three days with just day one, and that is no thunderstorms, nothing severe. All right, 06Z GFS model run. Here comes, uh, we've, we've got the broad trough, and here comes another short wave over Missouri that's going to bring us another reinforcing short uh, shot of cold air. And with that system, uh, we do have um, a little bit of uh, precipitation over the Ohio River Valley and the southern Great Lakes area. Again, that responsible for those winter weather advisories. That system zips out uh, off the coast of New England uh, by Monday, Christmas Day at midday. But you can see we're still under that very broad trough and the high pressure settles in. So look for temperatures maybe as low as the lower 20s lower to mid-20s on uh, um, uh, Monday morning, Christmas morning, and then during the day, Christmas Day, we should see some sunshine, but uh, probably not going to see temperatures get much above the mid-40s uh, at best. Uh, Tuesday, uh, the, the pattern a little bit uh, less active, although we do have uh, some shots of colder air in there, but uh, certainly the broad trough. We see the broad trough still put in place on Wednesday, but on Wednesday, we're beginning to pick up moisture out of the Pacific. Uh, with the uh, little bit of uh, trough over the Baja California area. And the GFS is uh, starting uh, overrunning to our west by midday on Wednesday. Now, the European is a little bit different and doesn't really latch onto this feature until Thursday. Uh, you can see the stream coming out of 
the uh, Cal- uh, out of the Pacific coming across the southeastern U.S., and it suggests that much of the rain is going to be to the south. Now, the GFS is a little bit uh, more bullish on bringing the precipitation further north, and one of the things we're going to have to watch for is uh, where the cold air will actually be come Thursday. Now, right now, it looks like we should be in great shape uh, with the best threat for any kind of winter precipitation, uh, icing or whatever, uh, across northern Arkansas and maybe across the extreme northern parts of uh, Middle and, and West Tennessee. Uh, one of the reasons for that is uh, looking at the 850 temperatures, you can see the uh, sharp demarcation there between the whites and the blues, and that indicates so uh, the where the 850 zero is, and of course that is uh, across Tennessee and extreme southern Missouri, so that f- pretty far north from for us, so we should stay in any liquid precipitation. The pattern doesn't change a great deal on Friday, although we do see a little short wave over East Tennessee, and that is going to help to flush the the precipitation off uh, to the east and away from us, so we should be drying out on Friday. And once again, uh, just looking at the thickness values, the colder air still up over Kentucky and extreme northern Tennessee, so there shouldn't be any issues for that. We see just a slight ridging, uh, not much, but just a slight ridging on Saturday, so we should see temperatures at least uh, a little bit uh, nicer, uh, maybe uh, around the lower and mid-30s for lows and uh, highs around the 50-degree mark. Sunday, the pattern doesn't change a whole lot, but we do see another strong short wave coming in across the Dakotas that's going to likely uh, help to reinforce the trough over the eastern part of the country. And once again, the GFS is pretty bullish on picking up overrunning coming out uh, of moisture coming out of the Pacific. The G- the uh, European, on the other hand, uh, doesn't have anything at all in the way of precipitation. So that's a verging on voodoo country. We'll worry about that later. Looking out into voodoo country on the 1st of January, we see another reinforcing shot of cold air coming in across the eastern U.S. Uh, The pattern stays pretty active with a nice uh, low latitude uh, shortwave over Texas on the 3rd. A big thing about this is this could spell a winter weather, but the problem is the moisture seems to be rather limited with this. So the GFS suggesting that uh, we won't see much in the way of precipitation. Yet another one digs into the southeast uh, around the 5th, so uh, certainly no absence of cold. We see another one coming across the uh, sort of the middle Mississippi River Valley or just a little bit uh, to the west of that on uh, the 7th. And then when we get out to the Uh, Eighth, the GFS still showing the broad trough, so that's the screaming message from Voodoo Country. That'll do it for the Weather Extreme video. Thanks to uh, everyone for tuning in. Going to be a little bit later with the the Weather Extreme video on Christmas morning. Uh, I'm filling in for Charles tonight, so don't get off until after 1030. So I'm going to sleep in just a little bit on Christmas morning. So look for a Weather Extreme video around 9 or 10 a.m. Have a great day. Stay warm. Godspeed. AKS Services is now running their $59 fall tune-up special. The weather's getting cooler and the days are getting shorter. Don't let the fall weather sneak up on you. Call us today, 205-322-9090, AL certification number 11120.